Hi everyone, it's almost Halloween, so I'm wearing my costume to celebrate, which is an inflatable penguin. Since I shared what I'm being for Halloween, comment below what you're going to be for Halloween this year. Anyway, today we're going to be learning about Solanum Carolinans L, otherwise known as Sandbriar, Devil's Tomato, and Horse Nettle. Horse Nettle is a herbaceous perennial and can reach about 2-3 to three feet tall. This species belongs to the nightshade family and the entire plant is toxic. The ripe berries are the most toxic, but the plant in general reaches its most toxic state in the fall, because that's when it contains the highest concentration of solanine. Solanine is a nasty chemical compound in horse nettle that, if ingested, can cause fever, diarrhea, vomiting, or even death. More often than not, the victims of this plant are livestock rather than humans. Horse nettle is native to North America, mostly the central and eastern United States. This species prefers roadsides and other highly disturbed areas such as pastures. It can be quite weedy and spreads rapidly, but horse nettle has introduced itself into parts of Canada and has become invasive in certain ecosystems in the United States. Hardiness zones 3 through 7 are ideal for horse nettle. If we take a look at the stem of a horse nettle, we'll notice a few things. The first being that this plant has an alternate leaf arrangement. The second being that the stem is covered in prickles. Not only is the stem covered in prickles, but so are the leaves. If we take a look at a horse nettle's leaves, we'll see prickles on the veins and midrib of the leaf. Other than the prickles, some identifying factors of a horse nettle's leaf is that it is simple and that it is lobed. Horse nettle blooms May through September in flower clusters that contain 5 to 20 flowers per cluster. These flowers are star-shaped and typically white, but they can rarely be purple. Additionally, each flower will have five petals that are fused at the base, as well as five yellow stamen and one pistil. Since each flower has both male and female reproductive organs, they are considered perfect. After pollination, green berries start to develop, and when they turn yellow, they are ripe. A single berry can hold 40 to 170 seeds. Each seed is smooth, glossy, and golden yellow in color. Additionally to reproducing from seed, horse nettle can propagate itself through its rhizomes. Alrighty, that is all for this video, and I hope you enjoyed learning about Solanum carolinans, otherwise known as horse nettle with me. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and happy Halloween!